where neuroplasticity is accessed is an error. Um, the idea of neuroplasticity is just prior to the age of about 25, give or take, depending on your gender, um, prior to the age of 25, we're, we're very plastic. So from the time you come out of the womb to about 25, you're constantly forming the brain. After 25 or so, um, you have to actually consciously access neuroplasticity in order to change the brain. Hey, Vana. In order to actually change the brain. So for instance, raise your hand here if at some point you've been doing a practice and it's like, you, there's like slight feelings of frustration, like, ah, raise your hand. Everyone raise your hand. Good, it's a good sign. At some point, if it's like, I mean, in order for us to be learning new things, it's gonna get to the point where it's like, ah, that sensation of like, where it's actually like irritation uh, because the air is going over, that's when your brain goes, okay, I need to change here. That's what the brain goes, oh, 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 we're, we're, there's a problem now. There's a problem that needs to be fixed. In which case you access neuroplasticity, which is what's going to facilitate you to learn these new things. That's why you'll see, you know, it's like when you were kids, there was that one kid who was, you know, always skateboarding. That one person who was always, um, you know, learning that new game. Whatever it is, they just like spend time and they're like, oh, they get really frustrated. And then like they always learn it quicker than everyone else. Like the same person, you get all aggro. You're like, what is that? It's because over and over, and then that's how you change the brain. So just remember, as you're practicing, like welcome in all the feelings that come. And like the time, if you start to get frustrated, don't necessarily just stop there. Take a break. Core. Center. <sighs> do what you got to do. Just shake it off. Then come back and do it again. And once you get, ah, take a break. Core. If you don't if you don't take a break and you core, you guys know what I mean when I say that. Come to your aligned self, your high, your your real self. When you're feeling angry, frustrated, irritated, envious, all these things, that's outside of your core self. That's not really you. That's manasa. That's the subconscious conditioning. That's not you. That's the default. That's something you've learned in your sponge brain from the age of the time you came out of the womb to the time you're seven. You're just taking in information and you believe that and built off of that up until now. Don't worry about that. We want to come back into our conscious mind, our buddhi, the ability to discern and reason and make conscious decisions and choices. So whatever you got to do, don't keep pushing through. If you're like, ah, I can't, ah, throw the harmonium through the window. Don't do that. You'll notice it'll take you 18 times as long to get to the same result as if you just take a break and you, okay, you chant. Chin around, chin around, do a couple breath works, drink some tea, whatever you gotta do, whatever you guys, you know, make a list of the things that help and do that. And then you come back to it, it's gonna be like magic. Matter of fact, this is just, just to branch outside of and just in general with bhakti and in general with relationships, timeouts are one of the most important beneficial things you could ever do. Is as soon as you feel outside of your core self, take a break. Raise your hand if you've ever had a successful conversation outside of your core self. Ah, wrong, doesn't happen. Pissing each other off. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but you did. Right, you did. It doesn't work. You know, you gotta like, you go core and then you come back. You say, hey, I just, I, I'm, I'm outside my core, my core self here. I'm noticing myself. Get, you know, I'm not aligned. I'm gonna go align and then I'll come back and we can proceed this conversation. It's the same thing with the practice. Don't make decisions unless you're here. And remember, decisions are, are the only thing that facilitates growth. Once you make a decision, that's where growth comes. Until you make a decision, there's no growth. It's just an idea. A decision means a yes. Anything other than a yes is a no. And if you say, ah, oh, that'd be kind of cool. No, I want to do that. That'd be nice. How does that go? But you don't make a decision to do it, it ain't going to happen. So, don't make a decision from a place of outside your core self. Make a decision from here. And so, keep coming back to it when you guys get frustrated. But come back to it with the proper mindset. Okay? That's going to help just expedite all your practice.